Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a beautiful 3D flower resin tray. She had a little bit of a late start on filming, so here she had already mixed up her part A and part B resin and started to pour into the tray mold. In a small separate cup of resin, she's starting by adding some ghost pearls by Deepon which she also added into the resin that she just poured. And she adds some glitter in the same cup as well. Then she takes her small box of gold leaf flakes and with a wooden stick adds them into the cup. These gold leaf flakes can be very sticky so it's best to move them with a wooden stick or something other than your hands because they will get stuck onto your gloves. She mixes it all together and starts to pour it near the center of the mold. And she pours any of the leftover clear resin that she had into the mold as well. She's going to be pouring two colors into this resin tray. First, she used Casting Craft White Pigment, added a few drops into her small cup of resin, and mixed it all together. And in her second cup, she used Just Resin's Luster Pigment Paste in the shade Fuchsia. She adds a few drops of the Casting Craft into the Fuchsia Pigmented Resin to lighten it up. She uses a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and she's moving it very quickly not to burn the resin or her mold. Now that her pigmented resin is ready, she's transferring them from the cup into a plastic bag. Then she does the same with her fuchsia pigmented resin. And once she has the resin in the bag, she cuts off the tip with scissors and this allows for better control while pouring. Now she's ready to start pouring, so she takes her white pigmented resin and pours it around the gold leaf flakes in a flower petal motion. Then she does the same with her fuchsia pigmented resin and rotates between the two pigmented resins. As usual, I'll have Amazon affiliate links in my description, so if you're interested in purchasing any of these products that you see in this video, be sure to check that out. She uses the torch gun once more, and with the leftover resin, she pours it into a small coaster mold. And here's a clip of my mom team molding the small coaster and the tray.
Once the tray was out of the mold, she added a top coat and in that layer is where she added in the handles. That part wasn't filmed unfortunately, but if you're interested in seeing how we add in our handles, I'll leave a link to another tray video on the upper corner. And we also have a video showing the whole process of how we top coat out of the mold, so if you're interested in seeing that, make sure to check out that video as well. Here's a short, satisfying clip of my mom removing the liquid latex from the tray after she's done her top coat. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.